I am ready to do my homework for Danny's class in polishing. And I've been thinking about it for a while, like what can I come up with? What kind of conversation did I have in the past that was really funny or interesting or recently? Um, and I just, uh, somehow I, it, I'm blocking, it blocks something blocks my inner critic blocks me i'm really getting anxious like i need to be funny and i need to translate that into into images and i don't even know what i want to um uh, show in this in this comic so i'll stop i'll stop now and i'll i'll just practice what i usually preach uh, myself and i will just keep it simple so I will go for the assignment of drawing a day of my life, uh, which to me feels simpler um, because it's just, yeah, sort of documenting what you, what you did. So I wrote down the things that I did yesterday and um, I think I need to decide on what I want in and what I will take out and what I want to how, how I can make it a little bit of a story somehow. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really curious what will come out. So let's get started. Okay, so I made a list of the things that I did yesterday, and this is the list. And now I need to figure out, I want to use one page, so I think I can fit nine frames in here. Yeah, nine, that will do. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 steps on this list. So I need to take two items out to fit it in those nine um, frames. Uh, so I woke up in the morning, had breakfast, then kicked off the day with a boxing workout. Took a shower, uh, which is kind of obvious. So I think I can take that out. Took my bike to the studio uh, to work all day. Went home, but not before I bought some things for dinner at the grocery shop. Made dinner, ate it, did a bit of drawing and then went to bed. So I think I can do without explaining I woke up in the morning as well. And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. Okay, I will use my Lamy Joy fountain pen because it's just joyful to use it. <laughs> So uh, now I'll start with the frames and make them all kind of equally sized. Okay, so here's the first step. I have a cup of coffee in the morning, nice and slow, freshly brewed with a filter. Then what else? Usually uh, before boxing training, I have a bowl of fruit. So here's a bowl and I'll add some chunks and spoon. Hopefully when I add some color later, they sort of seem to represent fruit. I think that will do the trick. And also in the morning I check my email and then I usually do that on my phone. That's kind of tricky with the perspective. I think this works. Yeah. So how can I show that I am actually checking my email. Maybe I can draw a little envelope here and then with a dotted line that could show that I have email. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, next is I have my boxing training. So I'll start drawing the gloves. Those are always in front of my face because I need to keep my defense up. So how do I actually draw my face behind those gloves? Um, I think I need to start with the bangs because that will be very recognizable for me throughout the comic. So those are the bangs, my eyes, a nose, oh, um, my ear, I guess. Uh, it looks kind of funny, but uh, there's a ponytail. I think this would be sort of recognizable. Um, I'll add the rest of my body too. There. Does this work? Yeah, kind of works. I 
And of course, I am sweating because my trainer is kicking my butt. So let's draw the trainer as well. Um, his hair is always kind of upwards. So I'll draw it that way, even though he's just in one frame, but still he will be recognizable, sort of. Um, give him like a little bit of a, uh, an outline, I guess. Just see him mostly from the side. He's wearing gloves too. Yeah, that should work. Maybe fill in it just a little bit. And add a few details. So it comes, it, it will be a bit more alive. Okay, I think this, this should explain what's going on. I am sweating and I am boxing in this frame. Yeah, that should work. So on to the next frame. Uh, I took out the whole bit that I t took a shower. So you'll have to believe me that I am uh, clean by the time I, uh, I hop on my bicycle. Let's we'll start with the bangs again and uh, my head and then I I draw my hair, um, it's flipped up because I'm on the bicycle, so there's, there's wind in my hair. I hope this works, I think it does. And then, how to draw someone who is on a bicycle? This is tricky. Um, the uh, arms are forward because the hands are uh, steering, and then the steering wheel is attached to the f front wheel. The Let's see how I sit on that bike. I'm, I'm, of course, I'm pedaling with both feet. That's kind of the movement, I think. Okay, I just drew myself as a four-year-old. Well, okay, that's my character then for this comic. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Um, front wheel and then the seat. And of course, I need a back wheel too. Okay. This is starting to look like a bike. It's just representing a bike, right? It does need a frame. Uh, this should be attached to that, I think. I think it looks kind of okay-ish. Okay. I'll, I won't be fiddling too much with this, it's fine. Hopefully when I add color, things will become a little clearer. And then the background needs something, so uh, I will draw those typical Amsterdam houses. So uh, you can actually see I am in Amsterdam on my bike. Yeah, that works. Simple and clear. And some extra lines to show how fast I am on my bike. Okay. Ooh, and also I always drag along a lot of stuff like lunch and my laptop and my sketchbook. So I am wearing, of course, my backpack. Almost forgot that. So frame four is I am working in the studio, which is just sitting behind a computer mostly, which is kind of boring maybe. But I'll draw myself in um, my favorite spot in the studio, which is on one of my nice chairs uh, with my laptop on my lap. Filling the hair, eyes, nose, mouth. And then um, I need to draw the chair as well. What does that chair look like? Um, I need feet. Ooh, it fits right into that frame and again I look like a four-year-old so at least I'm being consistent here that's good I have another cup of coffee to keep myself awake and alert and I also like lighting a scented candle I will add uh, the wool or some lines so you can see where the wool ends and I'll finish the rug and then I think this picture is done too.
maybe I can change the angle a little bit because I drew myself from the front kind of uh, every time. So I'll take a closer angle now and um, we'll look over my shoulder. So I'll draw the bangs and the hair and uh, myself sort of in profile. Where shall I draw myself in the grocery shop? I think maybe the aisle with fruits and vegetables. Those are my favorites. Okay, I'll draw um, some pineapples. They are recognizable, especially if you add a little bit of color. They're easy to draw. They have a fun um, shape. Okay, I'll just add more, um, more of it. Apples and oranges and what have you not. I think it needs a little bit of action. So I will draw my hand picking something up. Maybe I will squeeze an avocado to feel if it's ripe yet, even though you're not allowed to, but I will do that. Yeah. In the sixth frame, I am cooking dinner. I am making dinner. So I will have, I will choose for an angle where I um, just see my hands. So I'll try to draw my hand holding a, a frying pan and then the other hand could be st stirring maybe. Wait, this, this could be, um, uh, yes, I'll draw my hand adding something like a bit of salt or some, uh, some herbs. Yeah, I like doing that. I use that pose of the hand often in my, um, in my illustrative recipes as well, so that's a good one. The tiles in the background on the wall of my kitchen. There we go. Okay, frame seven is all about eating. So I'll draw me and my husband sitting at the dinner table. Um, I think I'll start with the bangs again. That's a good starting point because that is the most recognizable feature. And I'm chewing my dinner, so I draw my cheeks round, full of food. I draw the hair and I'm sitting at the dining table holding my cutlery. I think that works. It's good to see that if you don't draw fingers and details, it still represents what you're trying to, to say. I like that. And that makes it fast. I tend, to, I tend to be a little bit fiddly and I want to add a lot of details, but this is still fairly quick, I think. So my husband has curly hair. He will like this because now I'm not only drawing myself as a four-year-old, but also my husband. Why am I doing this? That is so funny to draw adult people as if they were four years old. It's absolutely not necessary, but still I'm doing this and I can't uh, really go back. So anyway, here we are sitting at the dining table, happily eating our dinner. So after dinner, I really like to sit down on the couch, put my feet up and uh, draw. And often I actually draw my feet. So I will take that same angle, um, seeing my hands doing what I'm doing. My feet, those are up on the coffee table. And my other hand, give it some context too again. And that will give sort of an impression of the evening. Last frame. Um, so last frame is actually pretty simple because I go to bed. So I think I'll just draw myself uh, with my head on a pillow and my eyes closed. That makes most sense. And then of course the bangs again. Um, eyes closed, nose and um, well, I'm happy. I had a good day. So smiling and then uh, the blanket well that's a bit dull so I'll add just a nice pattern to the blanket just in case it's not clear I'm actually sleeping I can add just a small text bubble kind of thing here and then I'll make
make the room dark. And I think I'm done. Wow. I think the first frame does need a little bit of a... Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Just one line gives it so much more context to add like uh, the, the edge of a table. And I'll do the same here on the second frame. Now we're in a room actually. That makes a big difference. It's interesting. Okay, all I want to do now is um, uh, give it some color and um, then my comic is done. That was a lot of fun and um, color can make such a difference. It adds so much life actually. Um, it, it's really surprising to see that. I like that. And um, I can definitely do this more often in my sketchbook because it's a fun way, even if you had like a regular day or a dull day, it's a fun way to still tell a story about it. So uh, a great reminder too, that you can use frames and the comic style and that there's always a four-year-old hiding somewhere on your journal pages.